One of the most mature revelations that I have had on my spiritual journey is the realization that the purpose of my spiritual journey is not to save others or the world, but to save myself. And by saving myself, I save my piece of the world, my corner of the world, my piece of the puzzle, which helps build the greater tapestry and ultimately does benefit and help the world. If you're watching this video, you are probably someone who over the last several years has been undergoing a deprogramming process. You are beginning to realize that you have been indoctrinated, that you have lived in a cult that you were not aware you lived in. And this cult accepted certain presuppositions and conditions of existence without question. And so we've now created a society where people actually endorse and defend lives that everyone hates and, de and they defend a horrible corrupt system that everyone actually hates living under, except maybe a few people. And so as you've woken up and you've become deprogrammed from all of the propaganda that has programmed you with all of the fear porn on media and all those distractions to distract you from yourself and distract you from figuring out who you really are. Um, as you're coming away from that, as you're deprogramming from all of the programming you received in the, the, the Rockefeller K through 12 education system that is designed to turn you into an obedient bot that functions in a certain way that serves the system that certain individuals want to keep in place and you probably if you're one of those people has tried to explain this to the average person and you have noticed that you are deemed psychotic for waking up to the ma the mass psychosis of this society so we have a society where millions of people continue to endorse and support through their continued support of and voting for the corrupt two-party system and all of its um, full infiltration by corporations and special interests. And then what will happen is, is that the people who you try to wake up from the spell who keep giving their energy to the system by voting for it is they will morally justify why they vote for evil. And they will convince themselves that you are in fact the crazy person and the person who has gone mad because you see through the programming that keeps most people supporting this completely outrageous system that um, has that is basically a slave war system that through various systems that prioritize corporations over people, you have a system where most people are expected to waste away the majority of their valuable, irreplaceable life serving the interests of corporations and having to play along with a game that everybody knows is bogus and is unfair. And then even when you corner some of these people who drink the Kool-Aid and who accept this system and endorse this system and vote for it, when you put them in a corner, they will always just give you that, this is just the way it is, answer that, oh, it just is what it is. And there's never any consideration as to the idea that there can be something else other, other than this bogus system where the whole thing is just a giant corporation and a Ponzi scheme that's designed to keep everybody, the majority of people working and slaving away for corporations and never being able to live the life of their dream. But if you're watching this video and you've gotten this far in the video, you are a person who has not given up on your dream. You remember that spark that you had when you were a child and you know, and you remember what you wanted to be when you were young. And for most people in this society, they died somewhere between 18 and 22 and are just waiting to be buried later. And they've given up on the dreams that they had. And they've accepted a life of just being a slave, having to just give away their time and energy to a corporation for imaginary numbers that are based on debt created out of nothing. And so you're constantly being inflated out of getting ahead because no matter how hard you work, inflation keeps increasing and you realize 
that you are playing a game that is rigged against you. And so the only way to get out of it is to actually supersede it, to think outside of the box, to think outside of the box that most of these programmed people are not able to think outside of who are continuing to be programmed by fear-based propaganda and believing that there is a justification for continuing to vote for evil, therefore keeping a system in place and becoming comfortable with a system that everybody hates. And anybody who's listening to this video right now knows you hate, you, you, if you're some slave who has to go work for some corporation, you know you hate when your alarm goes off and you have to get up and go waste away your life doing something you don't want to do instead of living your dream. But here's the good news is that while there is no hope that the world as a whole is going to wake up to this hamster wheel and get off this hamster wheel and stop fueling this machine, you actually do have hope because you realize something is wrong and you have not given up. So I'm telling you and I'm, I'm putting this video out here right now to let you know that you should keep going on your spiritual path. Listen to what is coming to your heart. It is telling you the truth. It is reconnecting you with that spark you had as a child. And so follow that and don't worry about what the masses of people are doing. Let them continue to go in this endless cycle of voting for this anti-human horrible system that just keeps the same slave war system going and let them keep justifying and believing that they that they're that what they're doing is a morally sound decision and let them keep thinking you're crazy let them think you're psychotic because you're not part of the mass psychosis anymore because you actually have a chance you have a chance to think outside of the box, to think outside of the perceptual limitations that have been programmed into people because you are remembering who you are. And you will accomplish the life you are looking for. Just keep your heart focused on it and feel it. The stuff I'm talking about right now is more real than anything you'll ever see on any mass media because the mass media is a story. They tell you it's a story. So they're framing something the way they want you to see it so that they can control you. So you keep giving your energy to their machine where they can keep the majority of people wasting away their lives and keep their planned wars going. And keep the masses of people around the world from saying, I'm sick of this crap. I'm sick of this BS and kicking these horrible systems out, these central banking systems that have made Legal tender, heck, I've created legal tender out of debt, out of interest-bearing debt that keeps pe people enslaved. And they've normalized and convinced people that it's normal to live a life slaving away all the time and being in debt instead of being free. I'm not saying that there isn't work that needs to be done. But... The meaning of life is not to sit up and slave away endlessly for corporations, but this whole system with the monetary game that they've indoctrinated everybody into is set up to keep us doing that, to be hamsters on a wheel. Just like they said in the Matrix, turn you into a battery. And you have hope. And I do hope that the masses of people wake up, but I'm talking to you who is watching this video. So I appreciate you for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, wrap this up. Just stay strong. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to ridicule you. They're going to think you've gone crazy because you see the madness of keeping such a horrible system in place and continuing to vote for it and not being in this ridiculous attitude. Of, this is just the way it is. Or I'm just going to vote for the lesser evil. No, it's not justifiable to vote for evil. When you wake up, you can't vote for evil anymore. So stay off the news, stay off all those distractions and keep working on yourself and go within. I'm going to sign off and I'll talk to you guys later.